Hello, my name is Adil Hosseini. I'm a student of HSS in Zaid University. As you can see right here, um, we are working on modeling a boat and how it would look like in the Bronze Age 3000 BC. The main purpose and aim of this internship is that to show people that the UAE has a history or the UAE region or the Arabian Gulf has a history that is undocumented undoc properly. And by this project, creating a boat that and how it would look like 3000 BC uh, based on archaeological evidence, we are ready to witness that there is a lot of Bronze Age boats that have been created here, but as I said, undocumented. The main aim of this project is to show that the UAE and the Arabian Gulf has a, a long past history that goes back to 4000 BC. And we are here as students of Zaid University, are trying to work on this project with Dr. Eric in order to produce a model of a, and a sample of a Bronze Age boat that is made of reeds, um, coconut ropes, uh, or palm tree ropes. Um, basically traditional techniques and tools that have been used years and years ago without the use of modern technology like nails and hammers and what, whatsoever. Um, as you can see, this is the boat behind me and this is, the process takes a very long time. Um, us working as a team taught us a lot, showed us our strengths and weaknesses. Um, as for myself, I believe it is such a good experience in order to work with a team who has different uh, personalities, different interests, different goals. And in order to succeed and elevate in society in, in all of its fields, we should always work as, as teams. That's how we'll construct something new. Not just new, but more, more like authentic. I'm a student of Abdullah Rashid from Jamal Zaid, graduating, majoring in international affairs. قاعدين نسوي مشروع هو عبارة عن إنترنشيب وهذا طبعا مشروع أول مشروع بالنسبة لي مشروع عملي يعني أكثر مما هو نظري لكن في بعض بعد يعني الإنترنشيب يكون في برزنتيشن وغيره من هالأمور وشو استفدنا يعني من هالإنترنشيب مثل ما يعني بتشوفون في الصور الفيديو إن نحن قاعدين نسوي موديل موديل مش القارب نفسه ليش لأن القارب هذا يحتاج تقريبا لسنتين لما يخلص فهذا القارب هو قارب اسمه مجان بوت يعني هذا قارب قديم قبل 3000 اكثر حتى من 3000 سنه قبل الميلاد كان موجود في منطقه مجان هي تقريبا في عمان لكن مش اكسكلوسيفلي يعني مش مش فقط في عمان في دوله الامارات المنطقه الشماليه ايضا لكن القارب اللي نحن قاعدين نسويه بالذات هو قارب هو القارب اللي موجود في دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده وهو يتكون من حبل مثلا اذا تكلمنا عن القارب مجان في دوله ثانيه نفس الموديول مثل ما قلنا لكن في دوله ثانيه يستخدمون ماتيريالز او ادوات تختلف عن الادوات اللي في دوله الامارات مثلا الحبل اللي نستخدمه في دوله الامارات هو الحبل مش الكوكونت روب مش حبل جوز الهند لكن حبل نخيل وهو بالرغم من انه حبل جوز الهند افضل لكن نحن قاعدين نسوي اكسبيرمنتال اركيولوجي يعني هذا الاكسبيرمنتال اركيولوجي يتطلب منا ان نستخدم الادوات نفسها اللي كانت موجوده قبل 3000 سنه ما في اي ادوات جديده يعني ما نقدر نستخدم اي ادوات جديده لازم كل الادوات تكون مثل ما هي مثل ما كانت قبل فان شاء الله نحن قريب بنخلص من من الموديول هذا وهذه يعني مثل ما تشوفون هي الادله على ان هذا النوع من القوارب موجود في كل مكان في الدولة، كل مكان في العالم يعني. وهذا هذا. First of all, we will do the constructor. This is the first step to tighten the bundle. We do it like this. We tie it like that. The second step is we tie it around and around and make sure it's strong. There is no loose with it.
So the last step here, when we will, when we will be here in the, in the end of the bundle, we do the constructor from one side. And my friend Abdullah, he will show you how to do it. As we can see, it's tight, very you strong. Make sure that there is no loose. There is no loose. That should be perfect. If it's loose, then we have to start again from At this point, basically, we have uh, mostly finished the testing of the design, uh, the initial shape of the vessel. Uh, we've made the keel. Um, we've also made the frames. Uh, we are taking a look at how it will work in general. We've looked at the materials. We've done some experiments. So the first phase is basically completed. So we're ready for the next phase, which is uh, starting the construction. So we will start making the different bundles, uh, lashing them together, then putting the frames in, um, and then slowly but surely sort of building the what you would call the body of the vessel. Um, and so far, it's been very interesting. Um, we've used some different types of reeds than we previously have used before. It's a slightly different size, it's different shape. So uh, it's, uh, it's sort of, I guess what you would call, um, opening new avenues of inquiry into the project. Well, I think one of the very interesting things with this Bronze Age uh, experimental reconstruction project is figuring out all the puzzles. Uh, and this has sort of been, this first phase of what you would call experimentation design is where figuring out the puzzles and putting together the pieces and um, looking at the evidence uh, is very important. So this is where we go through, the students really look at uh, the archaeological evidence, the iconographic evidence, the textual evidence, um, try to think about different ways that we can put the boat together, we can, different ways we can use the materials, uh, different ways we can actually um, put a shape together that is, I guess you would call, um, authentic um, and true to the evidence that we have. Uh, and so I think this is one of the more, I guess you would call, more exciting phases of uh, experimental reconstruction, is when you're sort of really sort of putting together more imaginative, more creative. And I think uh, that's why it's been, and I think the, uh, the team we've had, uh, Saif and Ahmed and Abdullah and Abdullah have really sort of, I think, uh, enjoyed that aspect, particularly once it became not just preparing materials, but actually starting to put the shape of the vessel together. I think that's when it really sort of, the project kind of comes alive.